With wildfires burning all over Idaho and the rest of the West, the National Interagency Fire Center in Boise wants to remind everyone that drones should not be flown anywhere near a fire. ABC's Steve Dent reports these small aircraft can have a big impact on the safety of aerial fire suppression. So far this season, there have been 12 incidents involving drones that have made it harder to fight wildfires. None of those have occurred in Idaho, but that's also three more than at this time last year. Drones, believe it or not, though they're small and they're very lightweight, can be a deadly tool when it comes to intercepting with aircraft who are working over a wildfire. When drones get in the way, it makes it more difficult for NIFC and other agencies to fight wildfires because they have to ground their aircraft. We have air tankers, helicopters, air attack planes, and other aircraft flying over a fire at any given time. If they can't fly, that delays fire suppression, creating more dangers for the men and women working on the fire line. It's also dangerous for firefighters on the ground, so that's why we're asking people to be incredibly careful when you're flying your drone. The popularity of drones continues to grow as technology becomes more affordable and battery life increases. According to the FAA, there are 870,000 registered drones in the U.S. And being a new pilot can be challenging, figuring out all the rules and regulations. But before pilots head out, they should check the Before You Fly app, which tells drone pilots where they can and can't fly, and they'll also alert pilots about temporary flight restrictions because of a wildfire. If you just Google no before you fly, they have an app and a really good website that is all about where to fly your drone. For me personally, as a new pilot, I don't want to be the reason that new regulations get put into place. Remember the guy who flew his drone into the Grand Prismatic Spring in Yellowstone in 2014? Now drones are illegal to fly in all national parks. And I also don't want to be responsible for hindering wildfire operations. And now we're at preparedness level five. So that means we're seeing a lot of large wildfire activity across the landscape. Flying a drone near a wildfire is a federal crime that can result in 12 months in prison. And Congress has authorized the FAA can impose a civil penalty of up to $20,000 as a fine.